central composite design in Microsoft Excel. We have seen before that uh, for a two square design, this is the basic layout for a two square design. Now we are adding two central points for uh, two, one actual center point, zero, zero, and then uh, two actual points for each of these factor uh, before the center and after the center or to the left side and to the left side the right side so we have total four actual points or four uh, star points they also call it star points and then five center points now it doesn't have to be five center points as long as you have more than one we could be able to estimate the uh, error uh, experimental ca error cannot be measured just by collecting one single data point so as long as two uh, three anything more than that would work uh, so the basic layout for a central composite design for a two square design is this now if we want to do say for example a um, two um, minus let me get my pen so if we want to say for example uh, two to the power uh, five uh, minus one i think it's written more like this five minus one so this is the half fraction for a five factor experiment so for a five factor experiments half fraction would be 16 experiments so the most efficient design of that using the design generator equals a b c d or i equals a b c d e so use that as a design generator to create this basic design for two to the power five minus one with that then we have to add the um, star points and the um, center points now the star points for each variables i have total five variables for each uh, for example the variable a as you know for each uh, it's gonna be before and after that middle point. So if this is the zero, this point would be uh, whatever this distance is, basically times 1.41 or square root of two. We have seen that in the other video, check that out. So one point before the center, one point after the center. So for each of the variable, I have total 10, uh, for, I have five variables here, so I need total 10 uh, send actual points or star points so this is the 10 actual or star points and then um, up to this then we have center points now it doesn't have to be six seven eight nine ten center points it depends on how much can we afford basically to run this experiment the more is better as long as we have more than one we should be able to estimate the experimental error then we'll be able to uh, measure the quadratic effect. Um, so just more than one point would be fine, but in this case there are six. Uh, so if we run total 32 runs or 32 experiments, the better way to do it using a central composite design, that way we can see the quadratic effect, SC square effect, cubic effect, um, all of this in just running 32 experiments. Um, so doing it in excel is not that difficult as long as you know how to this do this um, part which we have learned in earlier and then next is kind of easy and then add few points here so manually it is possible to create a center composite design if we know how to do the design resolution and generator and how to do half fraction quarter fraction things like that We'll show in the next video how to do it in Minitab. That's even easier than Excel.